This hardware wallet gave me some real nostalgic vibes. Yeah. It literally looks like a calculator from the 90s. We can add or multiply. Today I'll unbox, review and set up one of the most budget-friendly hardware wallets out there, the SafePal X1. I'll also show you how to send and receive coins with it, so by the end of this video you'll know everything you need about this device. But before I start I need to mention that this video is sponsored by Crypto Snake Deals. On the Crypto Snake Deals page you'll find the best discounts on hardware wallets, conference tickets and crypto gear. We only feature brands we trust and the deals listed are always the best available. Check it out, the link's in the description. Let's start with the unboxing. The SafePal X1 comes in slick packaging. Honestly, the quality is surprisingly good for the price. And speaking of price, the SafePal X1 is $69.99. But with my promo code CryptoSnake at SFP, you'll get $40 off, bringing it down to just $29.99. Well, for a $30 wallet, SafePal did a great job with the packaging. Now let's open the box and see what's inside. The SafePal X1 comes with a USB to USB-C cable. Next is an envelope. Inside, you'll find a download app card with the SafePal app QR code, a user manual card, two stickers, and three seed phrase cards, 24 words each. There is also a cleaning cloth for your wallet. And of course, the star of the box, the SafePal X1 wallet itself. The device looks like a calculator from the 90s. On the X1 screen, you'll see a sticker advising you to charge using a 5 volt DC charger, not a laptop charger, to avoid damage. The wallet has a built-in 200 mAh battery and can run continuously for 2 hours when fully charged. Speaking of the screen, it has a 1.8-inch monochrome LCD with 128 by 64 resolution. The SafePal X1 is super lightweight. Before I show you how to set up and use this wallet, let's quickly review it. First, the company. SafePal was founded in 2018 and is headquartered in Maya Seychelles. SafePal X1 hardware wallet officially launched in September 13, 2023, during the Token 2049 conference in Singapore. It's open source meaning the firmware code is public, so anyone can independently review it. The SafePal X1 uses an EAL5 Plus chip. EAL5 Plus is a strong security certification level. For comparison, the Descent wallet also has an EAL5 Plus certified chip. However, what didn't make much sense to me at first was that the SafePal X1 uses an EAL5 Plus chip and costs $70 without my promo code, while their own SafePal S1 has a more secure EAL6 Plus chip and is only 50 bucks. But then I figured it out. I tested my promo code on all SafePal models and found out it only works for the X1. So let's be real, $40 off probably means the real price of this wallet is 30 bucks and the promo code code is just part of the marketing strategy. Why am I even saying that? Anyway, I fixed that for you. The actual price of the SafePal X1 wallet is $30, which finally makes sense. Now let's talk about the connection method. The X1 uses high-speed Bluetooth 5.0 for signing, just like other popular wallets like Ledger and Descent. Speaking of materials, it's made of ABS plus PVC. In simple terms, it's plastic. The SafePal X1 supports over 200 blockchains and all the tokens on those blockchains. Basically, it supports all the coins you need. And as for web reviews, it's mostly positive across the board. Now let's set it up. First, turn on the SafePal X1 wallet using the bottom left button. Choose a language and press OK. Next is the activation step. Press OK and scan the QR code with your phone. That should take you to the guide page. Now let's move on to step 1, downloading the SafePal app. I'm using Android for this tutorial. Once it's downloaded, open the app and select Connect Hardware Wallet. The app will ask you to create a 6-digit password, enter it, then confirm your 6-digit app PIN. You can also enable Biometrics ID for extra security. This step is optional. Next, in the app choose your hardware wallet. Today we are setting up the X1. Now connect your wallet to the app. Tap Next, then allow SafePal to find and connect to nearby devices. Turn on your SafePal X1. Also make sure Bluetooth is turned on on your phone. It should show up on your phone as an available device. Tap on it. Check that the pairing code matches on both devices. And if it does, hit pair. Congrats, your device has been activated successfully. Now on your X1, you'll need to create a new wallet. Press OK button, select create new wallet and press OK again. Next step, create now. The next step is to choose how many words you want in your seed phrase. They call it a mnemonic phrase. I'm going with 24 words for maximum security. 
Grab a sheet and write down each word in order, one by one. Make sure no one can see your words. Use 0 to scroll down and 5 to scroll up. Once you've written down all 24 words, press OK and verify each word one by one. Use the up and down arrows and confirm with OK button. It's much easier than having to type each word using buttons like this. Remember to store your backup words somewhere safe and secure, so no one else can access them. For extra protection, you might want to store your seed phrase on a titanium plate instead of paper. I recommend Stamp Seed. It's the leading brand in this niche. Use my discount code CRYPTOSNAKE for 15% off all Stamp Seed products. The link's in the description. Next up is your PIN. The X1 lets you set a 6 to 12 digit PIN code. Make sure it's strong. If it's too weak, the device won't let you use it. Enter and confirm your PIN. Now you can name your wallet. This part gave me some flashbacks to the good old days and my Siemens M50. Once you've named your wallet, hit OK. You should see a message that says, your wallet is ready to use. Please add it to the SafePal app. Grab your phone and tap add your wallet in the app. Then confirm the import on your X1. You'll need to enter your PIN. And that's it, you're officially ready to use your SafePal X1. In the app you'll see some guide pop-ups. They'll walk you through the core features. Just keep tapping next and read the important info. Once you're done with the guide, a pop-up will invite you to join their Discord channel for support. Now let me show you how to receive and send coins using the SafePal X1. It's super simple. To receive coins, tap Receive button in the app and choose your crypto. I'll use Solana as an example. Copy the address and share it with the sender. Once the crypto is received, you'll see your updated balance in the app. Unlike some other hardware wallets, SafePal doesn't bother you with extra steps for receiving, so you don't even need the X1 device for that. Now let's send crypto. Tap the send button, paste the recipient address, enter the amount and tap next. Verify all the details carefully, including the network fee, then tap send. To confirm the transaction, you'll need to verify the code on both, your phone and the X1 device. If the code matches, tap OK, then enter your PIN on the X1. That's it, you've successfully sent your crypto. If you have more questions about how to use the SafePal X1 wallet or anything else blockchain related, become a Crypto Snake channel member and drop a comment or use the thank you button. I'll reply to as many member questions as I physically can. The SafePal X1 is a solid, budget-friendly hardware wallet. It's open source, secure enough and super easy to use. Also, SafePal did a really good job with the mobile app. The discounted price, 30 bucks, is a very, very good deal for what you're getting. As always, check out the Crypto Snake deals page for the best discounts on crypto products and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Repetitive when it comes to the grind. Study the details, every number on the line. Divide and multiply. I take pride to this routine forever at the same time. Then I feel like I'm just chasing blind. Can't explain the blueprint, still see the design. From the shape of the waves, this life gave us signs. Sacred geometry, read between the lines.